Hello, so this is unboxing for uh, for my merch. So I bought this from Juno Creative, and I haven't bought it for a long time, and I forgot how how um, how you say it, how um, not great their customer service is. Cause I did ask them to take pictures, but you have to remind them. And sometimes they ship to you without you knowing. So yeah, you should ask them all the time on updates or anything for your uh, merch. Cause I really never have trouble with them of uh, keeping me update about my merch. Um, I like to keep update for my merch because I, I I want to see what's going on, you know. But um, I mean they're trustworthy. They always do their job. But I, I'm a uh, what you could say yeah, I like. I just really like to know the progress of my how my merch is developing. That's why. So these are just like mostly restocks and not mostly restocks. Oh, two of them are restocks or four of them. I forgot. Some of them are restocked and some of them are brand new. And I do trying out some new stuff in there. So you see. So this is a restock of the Breath of the Wild and Devil May Cry. That's right. These are restocks of my keychain. Like I said, I will show you in a better lighting. Not sure how good this lighting is. There we go. Maybe I should lift it up. Yeah, so these are uh, basically restocks of... Because um, people were asking more of these uh, Virgil charms and this charm. And I'm guessing... Okay, these are the new ones I plan to... Uh, try out these are 3d charms like I said I will show you in a, a better lighting than this this lighting is pretty bad but yeah so this is 3d charm so I created I hate them oh wow this, okay they do look kind of 3d ish so I'm not sure if you can see it I will show you after but look it looks pretty cool you can see the ceiling coming out and then the back is the background. And then, oh, these are really nice. I'm not sure how I could have sell them for. But, uh, but this is like a brand new product I'm trying out. So I'm just gonna peel this. So it does look like the Sealy is coming out. It looks super nice. I like it. But I'm not sure how well it will sell. I've been playing the new Sumeru um, Archive Quest and I really love Al Haytham a lot. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> oh wow, these are nice. And next up was Sino, yeah. So this is Sino and I did a perfume bottle and this one is Desert Rose. And I got him a purple keychain because he's an Electro. I got him. He in my par pity but um uh, overall uh i have trouble loving up because i had to um get scarabs or something those uh creatures whatever to level them up and i have a hard time doing it because i play getcha very casually now so yeah oh so these are really cool i will show you in a better graphic but these are like very it does look like 3d yeah Nice. So yeah, these are the three charms. The three charms. I will only. I think I sell. I'm bought. I pretty much. I sell three each. Oh, four each. Yeah, four each will be sold in my shop. So excited for that. And here is basically part two of um, love is in a bottle for um. Uh, Final Fantasy XIV. I've been, been into Final Fantasy XIV a lot lately. So yeah, this is uh, Erringer. <laughs> I can't pronounce them. I've been replaying the game again. This is Albert. Albert. I'm gonna butcher all these names even though I hear them before. Erringer <laughs> uh, again. I do keep one each. So I do buy five and keep one for me. So I got five here of a ranger. Usually these type of acrylics there, I always test them out to see if they fit before I sell them. 
Oh yeah, Emmet Selch. Boy. Four. Five. Oh, they make a... Uh, yeah, five. One, two, three, four, five. Emmet Selch. Oh, Estidian! I love Estidian. Oh, that's Arbor. Estidian. One, two, three, four, five for Estidian. And Albert is one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. Five for Albert. Albert. <laughs> Uh, I thought his is Zenos. The guy that's kind of crazy for you. One, two, three, four, five. As you can see, I love Final Fantasy XIV husband moves. And these are clear stickers. So these are like planner stickers, right? And yeah, I will test them out and we'll show you because I do keep one sticker sheet for myself but yeah I mean just by how good it looks good so far they're clear stickers so I have to decorate the background a little bit and package them and these are restocks so these are sticky notes restock so yes these are coming back they're much for thinner I might uh, decrease the price I think they're much uh, let me look at them again but they're much more thinner than Vista print but I had to um recheck it again if they are thinner I might have to decrease the pricing but yeah pretty cool so yeah these are restocks and these next up will be probably mostly a Tomei's Okay, yeah, these are all restocked. I bought 25 each because the MOQ is 25, so. So these are new products. So these are acrylic wooden charms, yeah. Not, <laughs> I mean, wooden charm, not tote. So they are one of the new products. And like always, I always keep one for myself. But yeah. So if you like... Here's the theme. So here. So it's very textured. That's a new type of aesthetic. And it has this tassel right here. So this is Ardom for Tears of Themis. It's a little... Hmm. See how this, this one doesn't look that good compared to this one. Let me see. I was like, are they supposed to be looking? Oh. And this is um, Marius. To be honest, I don't like how they look so far. They look okay, but they don't look, they kind of look rustic. But they have this cute tassel. Let's see how it goes. And this is Vin. The Vin one looks nice though. I like the Vin one. Maybe that one I got is a bad one. Let me check. Okay, so here's the Burashana one. Although Luke is missing, but yeah. The, the Boroshana one came out pretty good though. Maybe because it's better with black coloring. And here is the Boroshana one again. Noritsune. So yeah, some of them are not bad. I guess the one that I got is, uh, there's some that is kind of weird. Maybe I should stick them down or something. <laughs> Let me check. I just saw this Luke. 
Actually, to be honest, yeah, these are... wonder why. Let me ask them for tips. Because it looks like it could be fixed. But it looks kind of speckly. I don't know. I feel like the flat one looks better. So let me see. Yeah, for sure I like the Vin one the most. So I feel like the wood charm is better with lighter colors. Compared to like Ardo where the color is much more darker. But I mean... Yeah, the Ardo one is still nice. But it just... I don't know. I feel like it doesn't look well in dark... In wood. Oh yeah, I have Tori Yoritomo too. <laughs> Yeah, this one. I like how the Blue Shana one came out. But yeah, these are a Toma game merch. And this one is Cuba Parasite. So these are different that is acrylic stand that comes with an acrylic keychain so it does both so here we go so this is shelby from cupid parasite if you play some game you know this character but um yeah so this is the stand right here it's a heart shape so it has prestige parasite and this is it could be a uh, work as a keychain but also, it can work as an acrylic stand. Let me repeat that off. There we go. Just like that. And these keychain can take off pretty easily, too. So, yeah. And this one, uh, so they have like. Love Lauren Parasite. I put it all pink on the this thing because the main the main, uh the female girl is pretty <laughs> her main color is pink. So yeah, these are pretty cute. I like them how it turns out. Like I say, the lighting here isn't as great, but I will show you in a better lighting. And he is the Love Lauren Parasite. So my camera won't last really long, so I'm just gonna roughly show you each of the charms, and then I gotta show you a better view. So here's uh, Raul, uh, Alan, one of my favorite, right here, and here's um, first Peter and Ryuki, Re Ryuki, right here, and where's Peter? <laughs> And Peter, there we go. And I wish I show a better version because my camera is dying off. So let's start out with stationery. So this is from Juno Creative's um, clear sticker. So they're A6 size. Um, so far they come out pretty nice. I kind of regret not designing the background. It's my first time so I didn't know what to really do at this time but for sure next time i will design the background so these are planner stickers so they're pretty small and they're around one inch i believe or below and they fit perfectly inside your planner overall they turn out pretty great uh, i like how the color comes out and how uh, uh, it doesn't look too transparent to the point that you can see through it so yeah so I do purchase sticky notes before. Um, they, I purchased them from Visa Print. Uh, Visa Print, uh, they are pricey um, because their quality is better, but you know, they're pricey. So it's hard to make a profit because I don't think people will buy like 12 or eight dollars $14 of sticky notes. So I think Juno Creative is, um, um, looks wise, looks nice. Their material is more lighter compared to Visa print, which is why it's cheaper. But overall, I think they look nice for short notes. So sticky notes for Judo Korea, the MOQ is 50, but you can put two design, 25 each. That's what I do. But yeah. 
So this is my f another new product I made. It's 3D acrylic charm. So they're more thicker because it comes in two layers. So it makes it look like the the first layer pops out, right? So I I really like this charm because the design some design will look good on it. It makes the very th the 3D effect looks really nice. So I will do more of them. Uh, probably uh, Genshin and probably the new Sumeru characters because. Uh, I like the sumo. I'm really into sumo right now, and I like the male characters. So it's gonna be mostly male characters I'm gonna make, but uh, hopefully I do some female characters eventually. But yeah, overall I think this uh, charm looks super nice. I feel like it have the it's a new aesthetic to it. So I really want planning to make more of them. So one of the new products I created is probably a acrylic st stand. But it also can be a, a acrylic keychain. So I choose these beaded um, keychains of I mean, these straps because it's easier to take out if you want to just use this acrylic um, keychain as an acrylic stand. So yeah, uh, I like how it turns out pretty well. Um, I like how because I like uh, Cupid Parasite and I couldn't find their merch, so I got I I, I designed my own Cupid Parasite merch. So there you go. But overall, I like how it looks so far. The um, the heart shape and everything turns out pretty well. Um, so far, Judah Korea do a pretty good job with making all these products. Like I say, the only problem I have with Judah Korea is the um, is the communication. Like I said, you have to be the one who's more actively pursuing and asking them pictures. So yeah. So just to make sure. Um, uh, just to make sure to always check in and don't be shy about it. So next up is an acrylic stand. You guys see this already. Not much to reveal about them. They turn out pretty good. Problem with this batch though is probably because it's too fitted. So it's hard to put through the hole of the acrylic stand. But uh, overall, it does, all of them do fit. I do have to push them in. Like I say, when you buy these acrylic stand, make sure you try it out before you sell it to the customer. Because sometimes there's multiple occasions that where the thing, the stand doesn't fit each other. So yeah, always be careful on that. Overall, like normal, they look great and I do love them. So last and not least is the wood charm. I gotta say I wasn't a fan of it that much compared to um, other the other charms because the wood green makes the color a little bit darker if that's the right one. But it turns out nice. I like the theme, how it looks. I like how uh, the pink tassel, how they do not get the pink tassel and the, um, the strap that I chose, it fits it pretty well. Problem with that um, key strap is because it's pretty um, difficult to put the charms through the loop because the charm is pretty large. So if you want small charm, use that strap. But if you have these big charms, you're gonna have to stretch the strap a little bit, you know? But yeah, so I choose this uh, footage flask because I plan to varnish them and varnish to varnish them does make the color pop up way more and glossier so yeah i will show you in this video later that i um i use a pacific acrylic um varnish to use to make the color more brighter so here me you uh, using a type of varnish uh, acrylic varnish to make this charm so for them uh, to look more glossy, it takes a lot of coating. So you coat them, you wait for a while until it's dry, and then you put another coat again. I coat them around five to six times. That's a pretty much a lot of time. But um, yeah, so it does make the color look much br um, brighter. It stands out a lot. Maybe because of the glossy effect, but yeah. So I use a lot of coating, more than five coatings. That's why it turns out pretty glossy right now. Um, so the, yeah, I do like the varnish. So the varnish does make the color more vibrant. It does make the color stand out more compared to before where the color looks like it's soaked to the wood. Like I say, it's a different type of aesthetic, but I do like this type more. So this is the normal wood charm. And uh, I, like I said, I couldn't, I don't think you could tell the difference in camera, but um, yeah, for sure. 
for take my word on, on it, the varnish does make it look more glossier. But yeah, so here is the um, the varnish. So yeah, it, I bought it on Amazon. It's pretty. Uh, I'm not sure it's cheap, but it's twenty dollars, and I think it does its job pretty well. So next up will be a comparison. So. The left is going to be the wooden charm. So the wooden charm, it looks nice. It has a little different aesthetic to it. But the color does look a little bit duller compared to when I varnish them. So this is when I varnish them. And I, it takes a long time to varnish them. It takes like more than six or seven coatings to get them that shiny. But I feel like varnishing them makes the color more vibrant compared to the wooden charm. Which is why I'm planning to varnish all my charms, my wood charm for now. Uh, the wood charm for sure has, the one with no varnish does have its own charm, but I scared that the paint might chip because it does look more fragile compared to when I varnished them. Because my friend told me that it looks kind of fragile. So that's why I chose to coat them with uh, acrylic gloss. So hopefully it turns out pretty uh, well. It does take a lot of time though. But yeah, so here's another varnishing one. You see how shiny it is? Some are more shinier than the others. I feel like it might be the coloring too. But yeah, overall, that's pretty much it for my uh, um, product review. And thank you for watching.